Hey guys, if you know my other channel, Lus, you understand that I do not victim blame. I mean, we talk about Logan Paul and crypt, uh, what is it, Meta, not Meta Zoo, Cryptid Zoo. And I don't blame the victims there, even though many of them tried to get money and that was why they invested in Crypto Zoo. Let's be honest with that. I don't even blame the people who got destroyed by MetaZoo here. I think a lot of people pushed it. And when people are vulnerable, uh, when you watch these documentaries about people who get scammed via dating, it's always vulnerable old people constantly just getting scammed because they're not thinking as much as they used to think, right? So let's be 100 with this because I think we need to be 100 with this. Uh, this is on another scale. So you got, I mean, this is on another scale. I don't know how else to explain it, but it's a bunch of horny Magic the Gathering players who it is a bunch of Magic the Gathering players who cannot and refuse to understand that um, when you have somebody like Kayla, who's a Magic the Gathering judge, and I'm just going to read you what she has been accused of, and I'm pretty sure based on her response, this is all true. She has been accused of stealing a guy's dad. So she was dating this guy. She stole her dad's his dad's money and then his dad died this is pretty crazy 95 mtg which is a very large magic the gathering store you see them at most conventions she stole money from them or she owed money to them uh i mean this is not beyond a person who steals from your dad who is extremely sick by using his bank account that's crazy to me uh, this is a person who says he worked at Top Deck. Well, Top Deck said you you did work here, but you did such a terrible job for us. I believe he's currently working at a company called Axiom, which I guess they know about what's happening and they're still. So whatever this Axiom company is, please do not support it because uh, this is not acceptable in any behavior. Uh, I think she's part of the MTGO creator program, according to her. She's a Magic the Island creator judge. Uh, she also does OnlyFans. Now, here's a problem with OnlyFans. She says she's a Harvard that she got accepted to Harvard Law. I can't remember the last time anyone who's been accepted to Harvard Law, having gone to Stanford for undergrad, would need to start in OnlyFans. Let, let me be 100% legit. You graduate Harvard Law, your first job is at least a quarter million dollars, at least, even in the bottom of the class. So there are crazy things, you know, um, but the craziest thing, and th let me explain why I think, you know, this is so crazy. This is the, the most crazy thing of uh, all these stories was a guy uh, cheats. So she has a boyfriend. She tells the guy that she's in an open relationship with said boyfriend. Okay. Obviously, that's a lie. So the guy has relations with her in bed. And then they date, and then she cheats on him. You know what the bro code is, homie? When, when a woman that you know is in a relationship offers to have relations with you in bed, the answer is no, or, or, or tells you that she's in an open relationship. Just go to that guy, you know who he is, right? And say, hey, are you really in an open relationship? Would you be okay with this? And then the guy probably would say no. Right, if he was not in an open relationship. But then to go on, so maybe I'm not explaining this right. <laughs> Let me explain how pathetic these Magic the Gathering players are. Again, I hate to victim blame, but I, I, I mean, there's nothing else I can do right here because I'll just read it to you. I, I hate to victim blame, but this stuff, if this is true, this is completely bonkers, right? So not only did she lie about attending Stanford, not only is she accused of stealing multiple judge promos, hosting fake judge events to get such judge promos. This is the one thing that really got me, right? This is the one thing that when I read, I was like, holy shit, man. Um, lied to me about being in an open relationship, 
to cheat on her previous partner with me and later cheated on me as well. Unprotected blank when she cheated on her partner with me and unprotected blank when she cheated on me as well. This was also during 2020 COVID lockdown. So I don't have any sympathy for this guy, right? Like there is zero, oh, oh luckily for us, it randomly, has, there is zero sympathy for a person who acts and behaves in that way. So it's like, oh, okay. She had unprotected blank with me while she was dating this other guy. And then she had unprotected blank with another guy, uh, you know, three different guys at the same time. Only fan model, right? Uh, and in fact, it gets even worse in time where uh, then she is forced, quote, forcing him to make only fans, right? And not, uh, quote, not paying. I mean, I don't know who these douchebags are. Um, but they're really, really, really bad. Like, um, like how can I explain? I'm trying to explain this in a way that would make sense to like a non-magic player. Like, are you truly, um, are you truly that desperate? Are you truly that desperate to be with someone that this is who you choose? Right, like all these people knew that she was an OnlyFans model. All these people knew that she didn't go to Harvard Law School, or was accepted into Harvard Law School. All these people knew. If you get accepted to Harvard Law School, you go, you go. That's one of the best. I mean, I I went to William Mary Law School. If I got accepted to Harvard Law School, it doesn't matter what. If I got a mortgage, no matter what, I have to give up. I'm going. I am going. Right. So now she is posting online about, you know, this and that and making her big comeback, just like the Mana Source. Also like the Mana Source, she fled the country, <laughs> you know. Probably, you know, I, I, I think people who flee the country, yeah, not uh, the most reliable people. I, again, I'm just speaking from experience with the Mana Source. So this is a Harvard Law School, Stanford. She didn't do none of this shit, man. And, and she's using fake references these best friends were tolerant community college right the professor um probably going to be my title today <laughs> because yeah, i love putting tolerant on this shit but, but again according to the document i'm not making this up she is best friends with the professor lied about being friends with the professor lied about pro tour finishes lied about being casted as a lead in a hallmark like how would you not know this like, oh, cool, you were a lead in a Hallmark movie. What was the movie called? Two seconds, Google it. But these simps were so blinded, so blind. Only in Magic the Gathering do you see this level of desperation. Truly, truly. And it's, you know, again, I hate to victim blame, but if you are a dude and you know she has, she's in a relationship with another dude, she has blank with you unprotected, and then you, ha you have the audacity to be surprised when she blanks another person unprotected like which is not the other boyfriend it's another person no of course not that's on you homie that's on you